Hey everyone, it's Ben. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the engineering behind Benny's spaceship. So as you probably know, this set is from the Lego movie. Benny here is from the 1980s, and this ship is modeled after some of the old classic Lego space sets like the Galaxy Explorer and ships like that. My brother and I used to play with those all the time, and I still have some of our old figures that flew some of those classics. So I'm going to have them co-pilot with Benny on this mission. Now, today what I'd like to do is show you some of the engineering that makes this ship so unique and fun to play with so that you can better understand how it works and hopefully use some of these mechanisms in your own building at home. The main function that I want to talk about is this cool feature where if you push in and out this thruster in the back, this middle thruster, it makes the wings extend out and in. You can see, pull it out and the wings come in, push it in and the wings extend outwards. And as they extend outwards, you can see it exposes these little shooters here. Oh, which is pretty neat. So now let's take a closer look and see how this actually works. So with most of the back of the ship removed, you're able to see the mechanism where you push and pull this back engine and that causes the wings to extend and then retract back into the body of the ship. So how does that work? By removing these two studless beams, we're able to see that both wings basically can slide independently of each other in these little tracks. And how does that work? They've got these special modified plates here that fit into a little groove in the side of these bricks and allow it to only slide in and out in that one direction. And this is restricted by a track, so you can only push and pull in this direction. Connecting these studless beams back in place, you can see that now all those moving parts are connected in what we call a linkage. But because of these tracks, this bar can only go straight back and forth, and these can only go in and out, which results in this very unique special movement. So remember, all a linkage is is a series of rigid parts that are connected with some kind of a hinged mechanism that allows them to turn relative to each other. We also looked at how tracks can be used to limit the movement of one or more of these elements of the linkage. Now in the case of Benny's spaceship, we have two wings, so essentially all we're doing is doubling up, adding a second linkage and a second track, which limits the movement of both of those wings. So now let's look at some ways that you can build this mechanism at home. First, a linkage with studless beams and pins, and a track made of tiles and one by bricks. Here's a version with bricks using plates with pins and a wider track using two by tiles. Here's a version with bricks and two by two round bricks using axles to connect the linkage using the same track. Here's a linkage with studded beams and you can see the two that will go in the track have plates and tiles on them which allow them to fit in this simple track with a two stud wide space. Here's a different looking linkage using three axles and universal joints with a very simple track using studded beams. This last linkage uses only bricks, one by bricks for the linkage and a track using two by bricks. So I hope you learned something new today and I hope it inspires you to incorporate some of this engineering into your own creations. Please share any pictures that you have of anything you come up with that uses the mechanism we talked about today. I'd love to see them. Thanks for watching and keep building. See you next time.